What's going on YouTube? Today we're doing Surfer. Surfer is a challenge from TryHackMe that it's aimed to demonstrate the concept of server-side request forgery, which we covered in many videos in the past. Now, in this machine, we're given... Uh, so, I'm using the attacker machine provided by TryHackMe. And here, let me show you guys. So, we're going to first navigate to the web page. Okay. And after navigating to the web page, we're going to just take a look at the uh, web application, try to find internal pages, and there we will be able to exploit server-side request forgery, of course, after uncovering the vulnerability. Now, there is this room here that covers server-side request forgery for those who don't, who are not familiar with the concept. And, of course, for this um, uh, room or for this concept I have multiple videos on server-side request forgery I'm gonna put them in the video description so you'll be able to access them if you need okay so let's get started so first let's take the IP address and navigate guessing I am not able to copy okay all right so as you can see there is a login page now this challenge is not designed to try all sorts of uh, vulnerabilities or attacks like directory traversal uh, brute force it's very easy very simple first we will have to do some enumeration now when you have a login page like that or when the web application redirects you to a application like to a web page like that it means it's only there's only one way to get in is to um, have the credentials there is no way to access the landing page there is no landing page this is the landing page so another file that's interesting and it's always recommended to check this file whenever you're doing web application penetration testing is to check robots.txt and robots.txt as you can see it's disallow um, crawlers, google crawlers, yahoo all search engines to index this file so this file won't be shown on google yeah this is useful in the perspective of the seo but what's the use of that so we're going to navigate to this path and see what's inside all right so this appears to be a chat between admin and kate so if you read through the chat you will find out that admin is trying to uh or kate is trying to tell admin that you have to change your credentials and here it's saying that lost please stop using your username as password your username as password so it's a hint that the username and password are the same the username here is admin so if you try to log in as admin admin it's gonna work most probably okay so it works so we're logged in now to the administrate administration panel I have the profile section here the system administrator and on the right you get information about the system administrator such as the email admin at doesn't exist.com and other useful information for the job position now going back to dashboards as you can see we have the metrics about the sales revenue visitors and interestingly we have here the host server information hosting server information it's linux the server ip the host name and other useful information for um, system administrators we have here export so we can export the report of the today of today's metrics using the button here and on the right we have the recent activity that was taking or have been has been taking place on the server system stats report generated if you read through these you have a milestone that's interesting internal pages hosted at slash internal slash admin it contains the system flag if we try to visit this page as you can see this page can only be accessed locally so uh, since we are on a different subnet than the server we cannot access this page but this page contains the admin so how to access an internal page it's there's only uh, theoretically it's only one way is to make your way through the server compromise the server and then 
use curl from the command line to access this page or maybe use SSH tunneling a port forwarding to be able to access this page but this is actually kind of impossible in our case today uh, because we don't have access to the server it's not a case of compromising our uh, the system it's another case so if we cannot access the internal resources using port forwarding SSH forwarding or by compromising the machine we can actually use uh, an alternative method we can rely on making the application here this one making the request for us to the internal page so we kind of want the IP address here or the server okay to request the web page meaning that it, we need to make it curl the page maybe and retrieve the content so this is actually can this can be accomplished using remote file inclusion or local file inclusion in local file inclusion we have a page and para vulnerable parameter using the vulnerable parameter we can make requests to internal resources all right but today we we don't have we don't have any um, parameter here yet let alone whether it is vulnerable or not so we can use it to demonstrate local file inclusion so we are here before one step or one only one solution which is using another method other than local file inclusion or compromising the server which is server side request forgery so server side request forgery we can make the server make requests for us to internal resources let's find out how we can accomplish this so we can, let's take a note of this path slash internal slash admin and play along with the only functionality we have here export ptf so if we turn the proxy here okay and we open perp suite so purpose is open click intercept and export to ptf let's see how the request looks like so we have the request post request made to slash export to pdf this is the page handling the the uh, export functionality okay now if you look here we have a parameter and there you go there is a parameter and the parameter here the value is actually the local host ip slash server dash info dot php now if we just forward this one and open the page as you can see we're able to export the system information okay and as this is the uh, page export to pdf and this is that the report generated for the local host so this is the system information for the local host okay server info server dash info dot php okay let's go back now if we turn on the intercept one more time and um, export PDF. Okay, so let's take a look at this URL. What can we do with this URL? So here, we can actually use, we can try to use local file inclusion, but in the local file inclusion, we have we actually define directories slash internal slash admin. Right, that was the page if I remember correctly. So slash internal slash admin. We can take this and um, paste it here in the front uh, instead of this one. But it's not going to work, right? Because this is because actually here it requires the existence of this URL. So what we can do here, we can make the local host, okay, request the path slash internal slash admin. This one instead of requesting the server info. So here we write internal and make sure to url encode the slash admin php highlight we want to intercept the response because we know and we believe that the flag lies in the contents of this page so we say do intercept the response for this request forward and here i know it's gibberish but what we can do here in perp suite we can say request in browser or show response in browser we show response in browser we copy the url and go back and yep so now we were able to access this page as you can see take a note of, take a note of this one 
So instead of accessing server-info, we access internal admin just by uh, making the server request the page, not us. We requested this page, but through understanding the parameters that can be modified, we were able to actually request this page. And this is server-side request forgery. I have videos on this one. I'm going to put it in the link in the video description. And at the same time, I've also summarized everything you have to know or everything you need to know about server-side request forgery in the notes here. If you got them, you can get them in the uh, channel membership tier 2. So I'm going to navigate to Red Team and maybe to OWASP. So here, this is RF. Let me search. Okay, so I just uh, noticed and um, made a summary of all the ways you can exploit SSRF. As you can see in the web application, all the methods you can use on and some sort of payloads. In addition to some references you can use to um, demonstrate full understanding of this vulnerability. So that's that was it for today, guys. I hope you liked the video and I will see you later.